everyone. You are now tuned into the Underground Sauce first live interviews here at Cold Stars The Godspeed Show. I am Tara Arrington, your comic queen and head blogger of the Comic Sauce blog, only the hottest blog on the East Coast coming up right now. Um, we have an awesome lineup for you guys, a lot of young artists buzzing on the streets right now in the 717, so just get ready for the show. Me and my brothers and my mom just growing up, 
that scrub we just want to get away from all that because i ain't saying i really live that, that life that everybody out here trying to live so i know i had a bigger picture for myself so right that's right. what that song is basically about just getting away so how do you feel about the music scene here in york Bay? do you feel like how do you feel like it's going in the right direction oh yeah yeah, yeah. i love the music and i see everybody out here doing anything definitely okay so if you could get away to one place what's the place where you would get away to i definitely want to go to california because that's where my dad was, is from and i've never been there so i definitely go to cali so you've never been to cali before no not yet all uh, right well you know i'm sure you'll get there soon um so tell me a little bit about how like how you met co-star and you know just how that relationship about it uh, i met co-star just through the system through the social media system they doing their music they doing their thing joey got in touch with me and it was just from there all right well tell the people where they can find freezy on those music and social media and everything like that you can look me up on youtube facebook soundcloud everything under freezy you know all the gang they be the team all right well you know where to find them have a good show yeah, thank you, thank you. my favorite interview of the whole night. I've been trying to get these guys interview with me for some time now. <laughs> um, but the reason why we're here is because these two guys put together the Godspeed show. Uh, so pretty much, you know, introduce yourselves and tell the people what the Godspeed show is all about. I see my family change before that moolah. Yeah, yeah. Get that moolah. I see my homies change before that moolah. Yeah, yeah. My only focus was to get I'm Joy, one half a co-star. Pressure, the other half a co-star. Uh, we just came out with a project uh, a couple months ago called The Godspeed, uh, and it's been going crazy. It's been lit. You know, we've been doing a lot of shows from it, and we've been excited about it. The uh, fans been loving it. So we want to make sure we give the fans a show, and we didn't want to do it ourselves. We wanted to do it with some great together with some young you know, talent. You know, I mean, in the area that we are, you know, I mean, currently located in. And bring some positivity out, man, and, and just really do it for the culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Showing that it's a culture outside of, you know, just popular artists and people that's more coming in your city and, and killing the show. You can do it yourself, you feel? Me? Yeah. So, um, for the, those who don't know where to find Godspeed, tell the people where they can find Godspeed. If you don't know where to find Godspeed, then you a lie. Uh, because we're everywhere. We're everywhere. everywhere. iTunes, Title. Apple Music. Google Play, uh, it's a Google Play, Google Plus. It's one of them. Google Play, Google Play. Uh, what? Uh, PlayStation, YouTube, uh, uh, PlayStation Network, Xbox, uh, 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 everywhere, yo. We got yeah. copies on us right now. What's up? Our copies. What it is? Man. <laughs> um, and a lot of people just from looking at the title cards, they automatically assume that you guys are gospel rappers. So kind of clear up the genre of y'all music. What genre, if any, do y'all belong to? Just make real music, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not necessarily a genre. We hop all over the place, but we make music that's like uh, our story. You know, we gotta go through it first to say anything about it, you know what I mean? And we put a gospel because really everything is on gospel. We are Christians, you know what I'm saying? So we don't make like gospel music or anything like that, but we make inspirational music and we tell our story. We got to a point where we was making the best music of our lives, you feel me? Yeah. And we like, we looking at like, stuff like, yo, why isn't. What are we doing with this music? Like, why isn't we where we need to be, you feel me? And that's when we had to realize that everything happens at God's speed. Yeah, amen. You feel me? 2016 was a crazy year. We dropped the project and everything started exploding. You know what I mean? Shows, get everything. Like, still shows, shows like, meetings. Yep. You know what I mean? And it's, I mean, it's still going up. You know what I mean? We've been up. Our slogan since the year started with God, is God's up to something. Yeah, you feel me? And he really is. So, yeah. what the God's speed stand for, you feel me? Um, so a lot of, I know we've had conversations before about, you know, the music industry and where it's going right now. And I know you guys say, you know, you have a lot of purpose behind your music. So what's the purpose? What would you say that people get from just listening to CoStar? Man, we just want people to learn from something, you know. We feel like a lot of people are not as conscious anymore. People to pay attention to what's going on in their surroundings and stuff. So we feel like we have a story and we can tell, you know what I mean? So we just want to, uh, we want to say something in our message. We make conceptual music. Really around us making conceptual music. Right, right, right. It's 
people that top in the game right now, well, the most successful in the game right now is people that are making conceptual songs. You know what I'm saying? J. Cole, Kendrick, Drake. That's what the people want to hear. They want to know picture. They want to know that they can relate to what you're going through. Right. And right. you're the same as them. You feel me? Definitely. Yeah. Well, um, you know, obviously the reason why we're here is because of you guys. Um, so tell them what's next for Cold Star. Oh, man. Uh, shows upon shows, videos upon videos, songs upon songs. Uh, don't be surprised to see me on the song with because it's going to happen and it will happen. Uh, we about to watch the show. What's up? Yeah, tell, tell them about the latest song that just came out with two other people that's going to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did Man and King. Yeah, yeah. Just dropped it on Thursday, too. It was lit. He um, rock. Everybody came through and killed it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Somebody, Shout out to Cutie Mask, my little bro. Yeah. You feel me? Had to do it. We was trying to get a record with him for a minute. It's just the perfect time. And now we got the show. Yeah. You feel me? Got the city attention. So yeah. we got to just run it up. That's you crazy. know what I mean? Somebody texted my phone today. It was like, are y'all performing that new song today? I said, well, you're just going to have to come and see. Why don't right. They need to be here, right? They <laughs> got their tickets Man, it's, on time. I'll tell you right now, it's a couple surprises tonight. That's going to be that's gonna be real live, and I'm excited for you. Better it, be, you better be. Yeah, everybody need to be, be here. here. Right, all right. Well, lastly, just tell them where they can find CoStar on social media. You, know, you can find us on Twitter at CoStar underscore, Co underscore star 10. Uh, Instagram, Team, Team CoStar. Oh, crazy. Uh, don't find us on Facebook. I don't, I'm not going to accept your friend request. Uh, Okay. <laughs> Find them on Facebook. You'll ask you. YouTube, Coastal World. Um, and uh, so why are you here? SoundCloud. What's the SoundCloud? Coastal Music? SoundCloud? Yeah, it's, it's not Link Coastal. SoundCloud? SoundCloud is... Yeah, Link Coastal. You're going to ask me why I'm here. You know yeah, why are you here, my G? You know why I'm here. Why are you here? I'm here. I don't care. I'm here. 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 I'm here
the movement is just to bring Pennsylvania all together. So, I mean, I work with artists from like, you know, Philadelphia. I work with artists from like Harrisburg and stuff. So, yeah, all that stuff together, like, that's, that's what influenced the name Penn State. I could have called it York, but I want to bring a bigger attention to it. And everybody would have yeah. New York? Yeah, man. I, I, I was out with my car listening to Rico Flair, so that's a hot, hot track. Uh, but another one of my favorites was Stress. Yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what you were thinking about when you came up with that song. I mean, like, it's just my life right now. Like, you know, I, I was going to school and things wasn't going my way. So, like, I kind of took a break and focused on my music and it started working better. But, like, you know, there's family issues with that, too. Like, your parents going to think you a screw up for dropping out of college and right, stuff. Right. So, like... You know, when I, I said screaming F is a student loan, I'm 20,000 in the hole, that's real. Like, you know I mean, I, I'm going for my goals. That's what right, it, right, right. it comes from the jump like that. So like, you know. So if you had to give somebody, like a young artist coming up like yourself, a word of advice, what would be that one word of advice that you would give? If you're really trying to do your thing, if you're really trying to do this music thing, don't, don't have a plan B. Because the plan B is going to screw you up. The yeah. plan B is holding me back right now. So That's good advice. That's good advice. I mean, some people might think it's bad, but for real, for real, like... <laughs> well, it's working out for you, so it ain't bad advice. Yeah, you know I mean? I hear you. All right, well, the last thing is just telling the people where they can find David Migo's music and all on social media. All right, my... And what's next? What's next? All right, my, uh, my music is mainly on SoundCloud. Uh, you can find that at It's David Migo. And on my, my Twitter and my Instagram and so on, that is David Migo. Uh, I'm newly coming out with a, with a website soon, davidmigo.com. I'm prepping people for that. I'm prepping that right now. Um, but what's next is just like, I mean, I'm trying to set up a, a show out here, you know what I'm saying, myself. And then I'm also trying to uh, collaborate with more artists. And, you know, I'm talking to a lot of people right now. So I can't really talk about this thing. I'm not trying to mess my sister with this thing. But, <laughs> Swimming with the great whites, hoping I could take flight or go to heaven, make it to the great life. We are not the same type. I'm the go get change type. You the pick a size whenever certain niggas change type. I'm a 90s baby, I'ma keep it real simple. I was raised with drug dealers, so you know what I get into. I done probably went through everything you ain't get into. Robbing niggas, serving dope fiends just cause the rent do. So I'm here with the man at the hour, Q the man. Um, so just tell the people who Q the man is. your music um and obviously you know your music kind of shows that rough side that growing up in the streets type you know environment um so i was curious to really know how do you feel about all the accelerated rates of violence in new york city right now everybody crazy and everybody needs to stop the violence man make some money man a lot of niggas don't make money it's a lot of violence and not enough money being made that's the real problem. So the, the, truth. the bottom line is profit. Just make the money, yeah, right? Profit. Make the money first. Okay, okay. And then go do what you do. Don't do what you do. Make the money. At the end of the day, make the money. So a lot of songs you reference 717. So it's a lot of controversy of who started 717. So would you say you started saying 717 first? Or who I ain't gonna say I started. Like, still, I ain't gonna say I made it up. Like, 717. But like... After the song, it became relevant, you know what I'm talking about? I ain't gonna say I started it. I mean, I didn't even say 717 myself. Niggas said before, it's just, shit, I'm right. So, I said in the song, people listen to it. Fuck it, the rapper said first, I didn't say it out for that song. Alright, I mean, a lot of your music is, 
um, you know, covers for older uh, classic songs. Um, so musically, who was your musical influences? Growing up? Yeah. And you should know. Um, right now? Well, as of right now, I listen to motherfucking me. I love my dog. I'm saying, you know, watching come up, motherfucking. I listen to, I listen to motherfucking Jimmy, you know, my people know that. That's the type of music I listen to, and I'm rapping and beat type of music. Nowadays, I'm gonna get a lot of stuff, flow, curve, all of that. You know what I'm listening to? I'm just, I'm going to get what I'm saying. I just I need I whatever is for me, whatever. I'm so happy, you know. What's next for Q to me? What's next? Oh, what what's up? next? I got a mixtape coming out real soon. I got like, just give me a little bit. I ain't said no date, but there's no, it's, if you say it's finished, it just gotta be released. You can say that. And a couple visuals I'm about to start working on. 720. Veteran in the game, Chance Casey. So, Chance, tell people who you are. Uh, I go by the name Chance Casey. Um, I am a singer and songwriter. I do R&B music. Uh, I've been in the game for a long time. Uh, long time. Part of the cast of Making the Band for on MTV. Uh, I've sung and wrote songs for a lot of different artists. So, you know, this is this is what I do. This is what I'm called. And just name drop, who are some of those artists you wrote for? Uh, I've worked with T-Pain, I've worked with Akon, uh, Omar Brown, um, it's, it's a, a lot of local artists, um, just trying to do what I can as far as guiding people on how to do singing and songwriting as well as collaborating and, um, you know, featured on a lot of mixtapes and things like that. All you gotta do is just Google the name, something will come up. Okay, so I'm sitting here with a legend and don't even know. I'm, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. <laughs> I hear you, I hear you. Okay, so um, I listened to some of your music on SoundCloud, and the first song I heard was Moan. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Moan is a... Uh... <laughs> That's a raw track. That's it a raw track. Raw track. Oh, that's, that's the least I can say. I wrote Moan. Um, I mean, it's honestly, I come from that era of 90s R&B music. So in that time, um, the, the right song could set your whole night off. Right, right. So that's kind of what I was trying to invoke when I wrote that particular track. Now, it's just a raw track. It, it invokes passion, um, but it's also a real good groove track, something that you could just put on play and just, just let it rock out. It's going to take you somewhere. Right, right. You I mean, it's funny that you say that because when I listen to your music, you kind of give me that old school, real R&B, like when R&B was really real. Yeah, 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 no doubt. Um, so how do you feel about like the way that R&B is going right now? I feel like music is constantly progressing. Um, and so, it, of course, it's, it's not supposed to stay exactly how it was. A lot of people feel like that 90s era of hip hop and R&B was just classic. But music is evolving. Um, there's a lot of dope trap music out right now. There's a lot of different artists that are out now. Um, you know, like Bryson Tiller and Jaquise, and you got your Trey songs, Chris Browns, of course. Um, the music is evolving. And so I think if you learn how to kind of incorporate what was dope back then to what's happening right now, it just kind of fuses together and you get a whole new sound. So it's it's coming together, you know what I mean? Okay, so obviously, you know, the relationship that you had with CoStar is a strong one because they got you out here. Yeah, yeah, that's um, so tell me a little bit about how you met CoStar and this, you know, this. I've been rocking with CoStar for years man um i, I remember uh, we would go to the same studio um and would uh record music shout out to my cousin sweet Pig. um and he put me on to me he actually let me hear a track of theirs um and it was like when they were first kind of getting like their sound together but i, I could just tell i was like Yo, they're dope right, right like their chemistry is just so ill um the way that joey can kind of just do what he does on the track vocally and then you know how pressure comes in and adds what he has it's a perfect match right, and it's yeah, not yeah. really easy to do that you got to really find somebody that you have good chemistry with. Right, and that right, good chemistry yeah, goes yeah, a long yeah, way that they do they have they good got chemistry. They, they got that damn fact okay so tell the people what's next for chance casey i got a mixtape coming out that's going to be a collaboration with my brother jk it is dropping this summer 
we both do R&B music. JK is actually my brother, but I'm telling you, he is one of the dopest singers that you will hear. He's one of my favorite artists, and I ain't just saying that because he's my brother. We're working on it right now. It will be out probably sometime in July or August, and we're, we're getting ready to put a single out there. So um, it's a, it's a collab mixtape, but I guarantee you it's going to be some heat on it. Okay, so I'm following you on SoundCloud, so I'm oh, definitely waiting for it. All right, now tell the people where they can find you on social media. Everything is Chance Casey. That's spelled C-H-A-N-T-Z-K-A-C-E-Y. Snapchat, Chance Casey. Instagram, Chance Casey. Facebook, just type in Chance Casey. It'll come up. Everything Chance Casey, all right? Well, I'm very excited to see the performance tonight. Can't fuck with no lame fuck If you broke, go get your change up No, I won't change up It's I be the same one Who got his bread up and came up Never be laid up Fuck bitches and haters Nobody ever gon' save you Fuck all your favors Bitch, I ball like the paces If you broke, go get some paper I'm here with I'm new to the music scene NYC Keith um, So just tell the people You know, who Keith is And, you know, how'd you get into music? I don't even know, man I've been rapping, man Sean, you still get out of your comfort zone, or how, how do you get out of your comfort zone? Listen to other people, right? So, musically, who's like, who's number one on the playlist right now? And um, so, tell people about the, the team catch-up movement. What is that all about? They know what I do, man. Just tell the niggas to catch up. That's all, man. Tell the people where they can find you on social media. Everywhere, man. Michael, SoundCloud, whatever you want, man. Keep catching up, man. So I got to do it, man. First of all, looking forward to seeing the performance. Are you nervous? Focus on the money, man, I don't play I know I'm gonna catch it and one day